Yes, Ellen Mary meets her bed. Michelle Marie is laying in the arm at the soup kitchen, like usual. And you know what? Sad truth is, my arm isn't long enough to reach. Uh, it turns out I like better when I'm not quite as sitting like, on top of the camera. You know, see my nostrils as well. Anyway, uh, so let's make this quick and short. Um, I did the cast on the 27th, um, and I'm still editing it. So. It's going to be uploaded this afternoon, so it's about two days late, and I'm sorry. Um, I couldn't help that. It's just that uh, there were things that were said on the 27th that um, I, I need to remove from the video because the real the video content is supposed to be for Donald Trump. So I wanted to focus on um, the main topics of the video, which is Donald Trump and his campaign. So I took out all the extraneous stuff that had nothing to do with Donald Trump. Um, but I did leave a nice little Easter egg for Bernie Sanders in there, and I will tell you why. Um, Bernie Sanders, for the most part, is almost neck and neck with Clinton. And I'd rather see him in office than Clinton. And I wanted to give him some suggestions, and so I did at the same time. Stick it out, turn up the heat, and really focus on getting the states that you can. Look, Bernie, I know you're not as well known, okay? And you're a socialist. I'm a, I'm a Republican, okay? I'm a little bit different than you in that area. But still, if this Republican National Committee happens to find a way to screw up Donald Trump's nomination, I'm going to vote for you first before I choose Ted Cruz or Gustich, okay? But I mean, seriously, please don't give up, okay? And don't do a Rossboro. Who is Rossboro, you ask? That's a great question. Well, around 1992, Ross Perot ran for president of the United States. I might be a little bit wrong on the years. So please bear with me, okay? I'm trying to go back my memory here. It's been a long time, and um, Ross Perot, like, uh, Donald Trump had a lot of money and a lot of resources. Um, he operated a company called EDS, okay, Electronic Data Systems. He was from Texas. And he didn't want to run for the Republican Party because he wanted to be his own free man. So he went ahead and he ran for um, office of president. And he decided he's just like Donald Trump. He used his own funds to support his campaign. And he decided to use a couple techniques that Donald Trump hasn't tried yet. And I think Donald Trump, I think he should try it too. But, because especially now, we're getting into the main general election coming up. He started using infomercials um, to show what he wants to do and how he wants to solve the economy. Um, going through, explaining how he wants to balance the budget. He was doing a great job. And when the general election came, okay... He, he had 28% of the in, of the vote, which was great for an independent. He did a wonderful job. What killed him on his campaign was he dropped out for a while, then drops back in, and that's where the mistake started. If he had stayed in completely, did not drop out of the presidential election whatsoever, if he stayed in there, Ross Perot could have been one of our presidents, or at least a very, very stiff contender. Uh, what happened was, is because he did that, because he walked out and then came back later on, he lost all of his, his support, and, and, uh, and so one reasons why, Bernie, I'm saying this to you too, please do not give up, please stay in the race, I will not vote for Clinton, I have nothing to do with Clinton, if it came down to with the the least Republican National Committee managed to find a way to throw Donald Trump off the ballot. I'm not voting for Cruz or Kasich, okay? I refuse because the fact is, I think those guys are not going to be at all beneficial for this country, okay? And I'm certainly not going to vote for crooked, crooked Clinton, um, Hillary Clinton, because she's definitely not good for this country. I, I definitely would like to see you have a shot at it. Okay, it would be it would be different, but you know what? Like I said on the, the video, which will be uploaded soon, we got four years. You got four years to rise up your bow and, and to fine tune your performance. I want to see you try it. I want to see you succeed. 
just think I want Donald Trump to succeed. Donald Trump is my main choice, but I don't want you to give up for the Democrats. Please. Please. Do not give us Clinton. I don't want Clinton. I don't even want to have... Donald Trump could easily be her. But if the Republican National Committee decides to try to throw, away, throw his campaign out the door, then we have no choice but to support the status quo. And some of us just don't think that's going to work. So, please stay in the race. Don't do a Ross Pro, please. Don't go independent. Um, because it's it would be a real shame to see that happen. And yes, for the family of Ross Pro, I really wish your father did stay in that race too. Back in 92, 93. You, he could have won. But the problem is he didn't want to be backed by the Republicans. And he certainly wasn't going to be backed by the Democrats. And so that's why he ran as an independent. But his leaving the race and returning to the race and, um, was what was, was hurt his performance. So, it was something to think about. Okay, guys, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be mild today. It's gonna be a high of about 16 degrees, and then the next couple days it's gonna be a little, little lower temperatures than that, and about uh, 13 degrees. Then we'll eventually come back up. Right now it is sunny, it is clear outside. And my eye report is I'm not the same. There, I'll keep it simple. Um, so when I get home, I'm gonna try to upload the becast from. April 27th. I highly edited it down um, because it kind of was a little long for one thing. Uh, second of all, it kind of got into a lot of things that might make some people really uncomfortable. Um, I kept the section that was uncomfortable because we are going to use that video section for another video. Okay, but that's not going to be this cast. Who no, Maybe I might upload it today <laughs> as a B-cast. Um, but that's something we'll type out at a later date. I'm probably going to be working on a video this afternoon, too. And um, i got to start learning to keep my videos a little more to the point. Oh, by the way, it reminds me, Donald Trump, I am very, very thankful that you have decided to just stick with using notes um, instead of going teleprompter crazy. Um, I'm trying to learn to do better at my notes, too, and I'm not using a teleprompter because I can't see it anyway. So, um, I just appreciate that you're, that you're doing this, and I thank you for being there, and, and it's all a hard, many sleepless nights and many days away from your family that you are there speaking out for the American people. Okay, guys, that's a wrap. I'll talk to you later. Okay? Bye-bye.